Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Dromkowal. It's so nice to have some unusual seeds in the garden that you can't find in the garden center. I think that um, starting your own seeds is very important. You know what you have. You have them on time. This is very critical. One of the things that you're going to need is a good potting mix, one that starts seeds very easily. And so you'll find something like this at garden centers. I use one called the Germinator. Very good growing medium. That's essential for getting seeds started. Good drainage, very important. So here's the system. It's really low here. You can see how low this light is. It's important to be that low. You ever started a plant in the windowsill and it gets all stretched out? It's because of a lack of light. And so the lighting system, it imitates the actual sunshine qualities. And so um, this is going to be exactly what you need to get some seeds started. You don't need a greenhouse. You get plenty of good sunshine there. But if you don't have a place for a greenhouse or you don't, can't afford one, this is an inexpensive system that over a couple of seasons pays for itself rather easily. I like these kinds of systems. You do them indoors. One of the things that's very important is to have some bottom heat. And so we use a heating pad like this one, especially designed for gardeners. It's uh, waterproof, very safe to use indoors, and essential for this little system. The seedlings can be planted uh, at the same time, or you can look in some of the seed packets. There are different times to germination, and that'll be essential for your success. Soil temperature, starting on time, these are important qualities. There are books out there. You can find many good gardening books on seed starting or growing under lights. This is another good way to educate yourself. But I think that uh, this is a very nice way to get what you want when you want. Now, there are bigger systems. This is just a small version, a tabletop version. But there are some that are um, four foot long. This is a two footer right here. This string in the middle, this is what controls the height. And as the plant grows, you go up just a little bit, staying right on top of it the whole time. Let me show you right here. There's a certain point where this lid is no longer the right height for you. And so these other ones are available, these nice tall ones. As the seedling grows and the season passes, this is a nice one to um, be using out there. These are great systems. So. Finding unusual seeds, very important. You'll find them at the garden center. When you're looking for non-GMO seeds and you want to make sure that's what you're getting, this is where you're going to look. Heirloom seeds that you don't find anywhere, this is another place to do it. And you'll grow them yourself. You'll be on time. So a good soil mix, very important. It's good there. And uh, understanding about these systems, very important. Reading about them. Soil temperature, like I showed you that pad, is very essential also. Seeds don't germinate under some soil conditions. So we want to use a chart that will have the different temperatures. And then we mix the seeds that go under that temperature range so that we have them all at the same time. So indoor gardening is an easy way to do these things. You don't need a greenhouse. You'll be able to afford one of these. They're not that expensive. They'll pay for themselves in just a season or so. And you'll find yourself with some beautiful plants. Read about it. Share it with your friends. You can grow some plants for your neighbors also and be on time. If you only need four heirloom tomatoes, that's all you can grow in here. If you want some peppers to go with it and some other plants, you can grow them in the same chamber. These are big enough for a wide assortment of different types of seeds that you'll be able to use this season in your garden. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.